Hey gamers, it's a man or fool. Get back to more Conquer of All Worlds. And what we have here right now is the Skullville Dungeon. Comes right after the Toxic Swamps. The final boss is the Habanero Dragon, which is not tough. You just need to get the You just need to get the screen propped up properly. That's all there is to it. You just need to make sure that your screen is working properly. So we're gonna go explore more of the Skullville Dungeon. Um, I've already beat all the bosses. You have to fight the Queen White Show, which is a Gorkle, a special Gorkle. Um, you have to fight um, other bosses, a Archdemon from the Hot Pits. It's going to be gold, and it's going to be in a room full of enemies. That's one of the side quests. And then you need to fight a five-armed Blood Marauder uh, boss, who is a captain. Now we have Trintatrol Loon, I think. So anyway, if I have to cut the video, I'm going to start the intro here, and I'm going to have to say, welcome back, if I did get the footage where I dropped the camera. So, it's been, it hasn't been the Mandor full just yet. I'm just following the map on the side of the screen. The map key, Unity map key on the side, on the right. Put a chest over here. My NPC just, um, uh, 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 I'm seriously losing here. I need to use another kind of strategy. Okay. So these things, these are cave goblins. They're special goblins, stronger than undeads. And the crypts, the first um, dungeon of the game. This is level three. Cave goblins. You have your skulls, your SKLs. They're called skulls. Level 52, trim to troll wounds. And if, if I'm trying to get the best uh, lighting quality that I can do. I think that's good. It kind of uh, can't have all the picture. There's only so much you can have. Um, with the, these lighting conditions. It's pretty dark in the Skullville dungeon. There's some cherry peppers going in the walls. Um, you can find a picture of the Habanero Dragon on Google Images if you look enough, you know, look around. And I think this is the key to level 4. The portal is right behind... Here it is. Skullville dungeon. And the enemies get much more uh, challenging. This is the toughest dungeon in the game. There are the crypts and the fire pits. You get level 20 enemies. You get level 30 and 40 enemies. And once you get to Sprog, you get 50, 60, and level 70 enemies. And then it goes back to 40s and 50s when you start the Toxic Swamps. And then they go back to um, 40, 50, and 70s again. So the Toxic Swamps, you'll have enough level to get you through the last two dungeons of the game, but uh, not enough power just yet to take on Maldark at level 100. Once you reach level 100, you can't grow any higher unless um, the expansion pack, which come, probably it's they're going to recently. Ugh, they're going. They, I mean, Cartoon Network is probably going to release a expansion pack for season two because before we go into battle, and too late. These are your SKLs, your skulls, level 54, or 51 in this. Um, they were hinting an expansion pack, including, um, that we haven't even seen Mal- We've seen Maldark, we just haven't, uh, fought him at all this game. He's probably level 201 or something, maybe 500. Some outrageous level. And I think in the expansion pack, it's probably going to, um, load a separate URL or something. I don't know. Maybe... It loads a friend code, and maybe you can open up a separate um, Wi-Fi game with a friend, maybe, and then connect. Or maybe the expansion pack has something to do with the new character, or, I don't know. They are going to extend the map, though. It's, I think it's still going to be a one-player, um, first-person RPG slash fantasy game. Uh, no actual content about an expansion pack has been released. 
though there are a lot of blank spots on the map. Let me just show you before I get a tattoo. But there are new, no quests after you beat the game. A lot of empty, um, you know, new quarters left. A lot of empty areas on the map. So they do have to add, um, they finish the post game and they finish the main story, which is three Maldark from the movie. Um, I, but I don't think you're going to be able to fight Maldark's NPC until the series is over. So, you know what I mean? So they, the final confrontation. And uh, if you guys are Ninjago fans, hopefully you've been following along with Ninjago. Nice show. Uh, good story plots. Um, one of my favorites. It is uh, one of the top favorites that I have on Cartoon Network right now that I'm really, you know, getting into. Um, regular show is pretty good. Um, it aired. Don't know the exact date. I think it was sometime before school started in 2010. I don't know the exact air date. Not sure. I can look it up, but I remember it started um, the week that school started, um, 2010. Some time in the fall, I think. I don't know. Here are these um, Tesla generators, these plasma dischargers that have chili peppers in them. And hopefully, uh, this is where you fight the art demon and Queen White Shell. But hopefully, uh, we're going to get to show my favorite enemy of the game. Enter the Skullville Dungeon. Um, quick tip. Uh, you do, I don't think it's required to get the ultimate weapon to beat the final boss of the game. Though, uh, there was a glitch where my computer overheated since it has an old browser. And what happened was, I was about to collect the ultimate weapon and ultimate armor. I just... That's the wrong platform. Okay, my NPCs are about to die. I need to get out of here. Before they kill us. Before they get me. Um, I, it's been a while since I got knocked out of battle since today. I haven't been knocked out of battle in a long time. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, I'm going to reveal all the stages of the game. You have to fight a, um, what is it called? Those snipers from the ice caves. You're gonna have to fight one of those bosses. Uh, you're gonna have to fight a Glamazon. So in, um, what is it? Worlds 4, the, the toxic swamps, you're gonna have to fight, um, an evil queen. And then again, you're gonna have to fight another evil queen. A Glamazon and a sniper evil queen. And then over here, I think the portal is... To the left? I don't know. It's a little bit of that. I forgot what I was talking about, though. Um, but yeah, I'm just ready to fight Maldark. Kind of dragging it out here. I, I hope uh, they are really are um, introducing a new expansion pack. Um, trying to find my way... By the way, when I said every RAM is the same as a GameCube, I didn't mean that. I meant that the RAM that you use on your computer is what this game probably runs on uh, to run its engine to generate. Or maybe they have it on the server, the information. But each game file is special. What I mean by special is the floor layout is generated differently every time. So as you can see, where these you see these uh, very broad um, tile rivets, I guess you'd call it. Where they separate, you can see uh, how that kind of works. And I just wasted some magic. It's... Oh yeah, the ultimate weapon. If you um, collect the ultimate weapon before saving the game, it is the same thing that will happen to you that happened in Luigi's Mansion when you collect the gold diamond. The game's uh, RAM will erase it, and it'll be as if you never even got the ultimate weapon and ultimate armor. So all that work you did to get to the final boss of the first expansion pack will be wasted unless you save your game ahead of time. So you need to uh, make sure you are on a safe server with a secure connection 
with a non-outdated browser, the conditions are right, you have enough power supply to your computer, uh, you can collect the item, make sure you save the game before doing anything else or you will lose the item. Uh, you do make sure your computer is running at its fullest, and that's the only um, advice I can give you. Um, what? Okay, I'm getting a little tired. Of this. Um, I think I'm gonna save and quit. And I'm gonna do a part two of this. I'm going to uh, go see if I can find one of my favorite enemies of the game, but I haven't had any luck with finding it, so I'm going to from the Mandor Fool, and I'm going to review the Skullville Dungeon Part 2 in the next episode. I'll see you guys in. If you enjoy my videos, subscribe. See you guys then.